Hello and welcome back for another Polygon Matic Prize Prediction Update and in this video I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording Matic has continued to hold above our ascending trend line we have also continued to hold above our key area of support at around the 0.6227 dollar mark which is still acting as support for us to continue gearing up and you can see that yesterday at some point we had managed to break through our key area of resistance at around the 0.678 dollar mark and as we try to have a retest of that key area of support the retest was not a success and you can see we lost that key area of support once more and right now it's acting as a resistance polygon matic has also continued to obey the edu12 structures and you can see that after seeing our massive crash on the 10th of june we started this nice recovery to the upside in a move that has been obeying the edu12 structures where i'm terming this as a first wave to the upside then we saw a corrective structure in the formation of this wave too in a move that was able to get into the minimum retracement area for that second wave highlighted here on the charts using this red target area which is an area that i came up with by connecting the fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one giving me a minimum retracement area between the fib level 0 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.78 and after seeing a reaction of that target area we started this impulsive move to the upside in what i'm terming as the formation of a larger edu 12 count 3 and giving you minimum target areas for that third wave to the upside by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that now gives me a minimum target area for the wave 3 at the fib level uh, 1.618 and that is at around the 0 0.8149 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting that third wave to the upper side to do and because of the impulsiveness in the formation of this wave 3 i'm also expecting to see a five wave move within the formation of that wave 3 having the wave 5 fully maximizing our target areas and i believe we are seeing such a movement here on the charts where we can term these as a first wave to the upside then we saw that as a corrective structure in that wave two then we saw this impulse in the formation of that wave three and there are chances that we are now coming down in the formation of this wave four before we can get another impulse in the formation of that wave five fully maximizing our minimum target area at around the 0.81 dollar mark and getting to see whether the micro edu 12 count 3 over here has done the minimums that we expect a third wave to do by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave you can see that we have been able to almost hit the fib level 1.618 at around the 0.7147 dollar mark because on the charts we have a high at around the 0.7118 dollar mark and there are high chances that this is it this is the high for this wave 3 and we are now seeing a bit of a pullback in that fourth wave to the lower side and getting minimum target areas for the fourth wave by connecting the fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one that now gives me a minimum target area between the fib level 0 0.382 and the fib level 0 0.5 which is an area that we are trading which is the area that we are trading within at the moment and there are chances that we might see a reaction of this target area very soon and start our impulse to the upside in that way five fully maximizing our minimum target area for that that is our target area at around the 0 0.81 dollar mark and in case we continue gearing up over here i'll be watching for a successful break above this key area of resistance at around the 0.678 dollar mark 
get a successive retest, continue gearing up, see a break above the high for this third wave here on the charts before we can continue gearing up and fully maximize our minimum target areas for that wave 3 and also see a break above other significant areas of resistances. So that is what I'm expecting on the short term point of view here on the Matic chart. And I also believe that once we see a complete five wave move here on the charts, uh, afterwards I'll be expecting to see Matic give us a bit of a pullback in that ABC corrective structure. And once you see a full five wave move followed by an ABC corrective structure, that would be suggesting that we have started an impulsive move to the upside and that will also be confirming to us that we have a law in place basing it on the ADO12 structures that I have here on the four hour chart which are giving me the long term point of view here on the Matic chart. So on the four hour chart you can see that after seeing our December lows we saw a five wave move to the upside completing the formation of these larger ADO12 count one. Then we started a breakdown move in the formation of a larger ADO12 count two in a move that has now fully maximized its minimum target area highlighted on the charts using this yellow target area. And since we have fully maximized that target area, the high chances that the low for that second wave is in. And if Matic is able to give us a five wave move on the one hour chart, followed by an ABC corrective structure before we can continue gearing up and see a break above resistance and also a break above significant highs. That would be enough confirmation that the law for this wave two is in. And whatever we are seeing on the long term point of view is the start of an impulsive wave in the formation of this wave three and giving you minimum target areas for that that wave to the upside by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave. That now gives me a minimum target area at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $2.1366 mark. And that is the minimum that I'll be expecting that third wave to the upper side to do. And, that, and those are my target areas for Matic and those are the movements that I'm watching out on the short term point of view. On the indicators, on the RSI, we are trading at around the 59 mark. Also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bullish cross, fully supporting higher prices. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.